Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a daybreak. Meet our two master players right here. In the top, we have the king of the hill, the master chairman in the blue. It's Vandalay. And in the bottom, the protest player in the red. It's Dead. Also a master player. He's in 24 in the. <coughs> In the, on the ladder and Vandalay is in fifth place so there's a small difference between these guys and uh, well Vandalay is always a tough player to beat uh, he's at the point you know to uh, break through and to come in that Grandmaster League I believe that's what I heard uh, actually so he's he's really skilled he sure is well yeah and about uh, the Grandmaster thing you mentioned I think the season just started, so all the top master players are now on ladder fighting for their position as a possible grandmaster. Because wouldn't it be awesome if you could get in? And uh, it's very tough to do, though. I mean, it's just 200 per server, and I can tell you there are a lot more master players. But if you're really good, well, you, you can just do it. <laughs> what? what uh, there's nothing really that uh, bars you from it. Uh, uh, speaking of which, is it uh, right that? Like the top five percent of the masters uh, are actually grandmasters, is that right? Because I believe I read something like that. Oh, I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. Okay. What I do know is that uh, Vandalay will probably be going for his one rex expansion, even though we see this uh, gas go down. But I might be wrong. He might actually be going for something more tech heavy, which would also be cool. Meanwhile, though, we see did he goes for his, a Nexus first look at that. Mm -hmm. So that's very greedy play. And well, I guess actually, no, with the command center just going down, the second supply depot here finishing up, I, I don't really see Vandalay here taking a quick expansion of his own. So no, that means that he might punish mm -hmm. the. Protoss here quite uh, quite heavily. Well, he still could go uh, a one 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 build. He still yes, there go. it is, Odi. Ah. <laughs> Look at that! I saw that SCV. I thought, what are you doing there, SCV? And uh, that's correct. He will go. I, I think he's going benches. I mean, double gas now. A bench into Hellion. That's what we also saw from uh, last week of the MLG. Like Flash did. I'm quite sure Vandalay also watched him, of course. And will we see a third or no? This is just a scouting. I thought, man, <laughs> that would be really too greedy. But uh, look at this. Vendelay is making it seem as he's taking his expansion, yes. pl placing his bunker a bit forward so that uh, a scouting probe doesn't see it. I should actually set myself too busy. Otherwise, everyone can see Pacha creating an audience for us, spamming us in the, the chat. Thank you very much, Pacha. <laughs> And uh, yes, the starport, the tech lab, definitely banshees. But uh, Will did notice. That's that's really he needs to see it. But how can he? I mean, he didn't get a scout in the base. He knew there was an expansion up then, but this bunker is here, preventing any more scouts. Yes, and uh, so we will see a uh, cloak banshee, right? Or a banshee at least. I, I to don't cloak. suppose cloak. Because he took his second gas a bit later than that, but uh, who knows? Okay, and let's see. Uh, oh well, we that hasn't got any uh, anti-air or something like that uh, at all. So um, well, yeah, yeah, he can he can build. Oh, it's, go back, it's going to be a cloak bench. Yeah, it, yeah, the cloak I already sort of clicked on it, but uh, but yeah, actually this cell is a bit misplaced. Floating the factory back did his job well hidden and yeah, did is keeping yeah, he keeps uh, chrono boosting out the probes instead of the warp gates I expect him to add on some more gates but double that last just a little bit we see him go up to 300 maybe we see two gates at once this stalker might get a peek but yeah it probably will uh, will not get past this bunker there we see two gates coming down a third even so this is really, can he deduce what's going on? No, it's too late because the bench is already in. 
Yes, and we see the Banshee coming in right now. Let's see how many kills uh, she can pick up. It's one right now. The, pull, uh, the drones, the probes are being pulled uh, away. Quite nice right there. And it did was choosing for a really economic play right there because he didn't chrono boost his uh, warp gate. Uh, not at all. So maybe actually now he no he still doesn't do it. So he's just waiting to uh, let the uh, warp gate complete and and his get and his gateways. Yeah, and actually even if he has some anti air up, it it it's not quite helping yet because the cloak is done and there it goes down. So these probes are all gonna have to be pulled once again. And the second banshee now coming into the base and did is completely undefended. What can he do about this? Well, he's making a cannon uh, at this mineral line in the main base. That is quite a smart thing to do because it can detect the cloak banshee. As it's not that far off. I would like to see those drones being dragged like that on the mineral line. That's very, very nice move from that right there to defend. Uh, but I hope uh, he doesn't lose uh, that much probes. But it seems like Van Delay is doing seven kills with one banshee and fifteen with the other. He's doing a magnificent job with his there banshee. There, the cloak goes down, but. Nine kills on this Banshee, it will oh, wow. not, not fall. fall. And this this one has 15 kills, also the energy is running out, but look at the base of Vandalay, he's following it up with more barracks, he's getting the reactor add-ons, he's getting a factory with add-on. Oh, it's man. just actually the add-on builder, I suppose, but now we have a command center, he can easily take an expansion and uh, probably hold it, because what is Did going to do? Oh, and he's losing that sentry also, that's quite bad for Did right there. Oh man, you know, these guys know each other, uh, as I was saying uh, in, in, in the channel. Uh, these guys know each other, and Vandalay is just a swift player. And he did a sneaky, sneaky... Oh, and is the pylon going down? No. He wants it? No, he does not get it. Actually, if he hadn't microed it, it would, probably would have gone down, because one one salvo would have uh, finished it off. Meanwhile, the starboard is floating gently back, made three very, very, very important banshees and uh, actually if you look at uh, the unit count well it's 25 probes to 32 but of course uh, Van Lake can uh, can keep that advantage that worker advantage right now and he has uh, attack advantage uh, over did as well so all in all yeah he's really <laughs> really, really ahead. I, I just cannot. Uh, yes, and tell actually, it what, what, I, what I see because he killed like 26 workers right there, and in his base, he is expecting some sneaky thing back, uh, something like DTs or whatever. But there's already a turret in the defense of Vendelay, so he's really on top of, a, of his game. Oh, and he <laughs> not quite manages to lose the observer, but that's okay. Yes, I actually I will we see a scan? There it goes. Yes, nice. and but Will did. Uh, I think I'm I'm glad he did saw uh, the turret in the in the front of the natural Vandalay. So I don't think DTs are going to be on his mind yet. But the Twilight Council did finish. No, but especially I mean he doesn't have the gas to uh, to do it. Mm. I suppose either. I mean, he's, he's very much broke, uh, he only has uh, three geysers, just now mining again, and that really hurts his mineral income as well. So if, you, if he's going DTs and it doesn't work out, that, that's really, then it, that just finishes the game. Yes, but the, the opening of the game is in favor of Vandalay, of course, with his nice bench harassment, with he, which we saw in the early minutes of the game, and there he goes again. Oh, save your sentry, please, Did Save your sentry. No, he doesn't. That's bad. But we see a fourth gas coming down here from uh, Dead. What would he? Uh, what would he be up to? Well, I don't know what he's up to, but, but I know what Vandalay is up to because he's up for more pro kills, man. I mean, he just doesn't oh, stop. Can he target the Nexus? Well. He's trying to bring it down. All the shields are gone. Now the life is dwindling fast, and the Zed is going to work on the Marines, but it's uh, not he... in time. And the Nexus, the Nexus falls as well. Everything going in favor of Vanley right now. It's 97, 99 food even against 59. And another army is just following this up. He can just uh, bring this army back in, push at front. And what can they do about it? I think uh, that was a rhetorical question because it's not a lot. And there we see the drop as well. The double oh, play the I was double talking play. about. Very, very nice. These Zealots might be able to clean up these Marines, but they just move into the Medivacs while this drop does the damage that it needs to do. 
Oh, and that is really in a bad position from here because Vandalay... Is he losing the robotics facility? Yes, no. it looks like he will. And that's his cue to pick up again. Vandalay is just tearing it apart in this first game and it's really a show. He says, I am king of the show match and I want to stay king of the show match. That's what he's saying, man. Well, well, it's of course not a nice beginning on your match if you're getting bench it and dropped and everything yeah and I mean plus two is also also almost complete so that is really behind in everything but he stays in the game and that's what I really like he has a heart of a warrior will these two armies meet a couple of shots going off actually he doesn't want to lose the manifacts but he stims in with all his marines and this is just a trade armies he doesn't care all the zealots full and uh, actually the medivacs go down as well he could have microed that a bit better but the drop again again a double play oh brother he's trying to take that pile and then he gets it some starkers are also uh, going to melt down uh, zealots everything but that is still not giving up yeah, and the, the upgrade advantage is really showing here this uh, small bio army doing so much damage to these uh, funneled in uh, Stalkers and the one Archon. <laughs> Again moving up the front now and just slowly, slowly chipping away at the army, chipping away at the buildings that it has. And meanwhile taking his third, getting more upgrades. Oh man. And the Archon is going to go down uh, while it's being warped in, but GG says dead. And I think Vandalay played a very good first game. Incre inc yeah, well, incredibly solid. I mean, he capitalized on the advantage that he did. Of course, we can't forget. I mean, it's really the Banshees there that did the job. Did wasn't able to scout it, and that really threw the game heavily, heavily into Vandalay's favor.